This is Jimson weed. And I do not want this in my garden. I did not plant it here, and I am definitely going to get rid of it. Uh, however, I thought I'd make a quick video first just showing what this is. Uh, Jimson weed is also called devil's weed or uh, loco weed uh, because it makes people loco or crazy. Uh, causes uh, people to be delirious, really problematic. It's, a, it's considered a poison or toxic uh, plant. It's in the nightshade uh, family and uh, it grows in, in lots of places. Uh, you know, here in North America, it certainly uh, grows as a weed. Uh, I didn't plant it here, and it probably just came in either in with the compost uh, that I had delivered from my municipality, uh, or uh, perhaps uh, in uh, droppings from uh, birds that may have eaten the seeds or uh, ingested it someplace else. Uh, but basically, the characteristic thing you can see here, right at the area where this uh, stem or stalk is split. Uh, you can see this uh, seed component or pod, or whatever you call it, uh, but it's about the size of a walnut, uh, you, you know, and you know, or about the size of uh, a little bigger than my thumbprint would be. And basically, um, this is uh, you know often covered with spines or thorns, like this one is. Uh, and in some cases it can be smooth or bald, apparently. And um, basically, this is a problematic plant because it's toxic, it's poisonous, it, uh, it basically messes uh, with people's brains. They can't think straight, can't walk straight. Uh, in fact, the saying uh, that goes with this is, uh, you know, the pe that people get, uh, from the toxicity, the side effects, people get red as a beet, dry as a bone, blind as a bat, and mad as a hatter. Uh, so red as a beet because I guess their skin gets, uh, gets all red and flush, dry as a bone because it messes up some acetylcholine or some uh, chemical in the body that uh, they get uh, blind as a bat, at bat, rather they can't see straight, mad as a hatter because it uh, makes them uh, delirious. People can have hallucinations in a really bad way. Uh, people get hospitalized for uh, poisonous, uh, you know, from the poison or toxicity of this plant. Uh, and people even die uh, from this plant. So they get uh, basically um, dead. <laughs> so um, it's not a plant that you want to mess with. Uh, also, with, uh, just like with a lot of uh, plants growing wild, there can be a lot of variability from one plant to the next in terms of the toxicity. Uh, so it's not the type of thing people would want to mess around with. Um, number one, because, of, because the side effects are so bad, it's not something that people uh, would use uh, repeatedly. Um, and, and also, um, even on a one-time use, you don't know how strong the uh, poisonous toxins are in, in you know, any given particular plant. Uh, so, so this is Jimson weed. It's sometimes also referred to as devil's trumpet. Uh, and the, the, the trumpet part uh, referring to, and I'm just holding up kind of a white background here, the, the trumpet part referring to uh, the uh, flower. It's, it's kind of a whitish flower uh, in a long tubular shape as shown here. Uh, and sometimes uh, it's referred to uh, as moonflower uh, because it uh, because the flower apparently opens up uh, at nighttime. And um, I took a couple of pictures of the flower the other day, actually before I even knew what this was. And um, the flower itself uh, actually is rather pretty, uh, but again, you know, the uh, the whole plant as a whole is not something that I uh, want or need to keep uh, in my garden. Uh, it's in the nightshade family, which is uh, which includes uh, you know some other plants that are uh, poisonous or toxic as well. Uh, let's see what else can I tell you about uh, Jimson weed or stink weed, loco weed, thorn apple. Um, this is not something you want to eat. It's not something you want to try. You, the the leaves are toxic. The flowers are toxic. The seeds are toxic. Um, not something to uh, to mess around with.
So I've actually pulled it out of my garden now. Uh, so this is the this is the plant here. And I'll toss it down here just so you can see it. That is about, it's going to go out of focus, sorry. Uh, but that's about three feet uh, tall. Maybe a little taller than that. And um, I, just, I just pulled it out to get, to get rid of it from my garden. Again, I don't want uh, people to accidentally uh, eat the flowers and think that they're among my edible flowers. Uh, in the garden, and again here is that spiny, uh, you know, seed pod, which is pretty distinctive looking. I'm no, uh, I'm no expert on uh, on identifying uh, poisonous plants, but certainly, uh, if you remember, if you see this, to not eat it. That would be a good starting point. And uh, the tubular flowers shown right here. Uh, and apparently they open up at night. And I did open one up over here. Uh, that you can see that had fallen off. And you can see the kind of whitish color or cream colored and with a little bit of purple in this variety. But apparently there's lots of different uh, uh, varieties as with, uh, as with so many plants. This, just putting a one-foot ruler here just to give you some sense of uh, the height. It's got to be, oh, three or four feet uh, tall. And uh, the seed pod thing itself, in the case at least of this particular plant, uh, is you know, one to two inches uh, in height. And the leaves, I don't know what to say about them other than they're uh, in, in terms of identification, other than you know that they kind of uh, have that irregular border around the edges. So anyway, I'm glad I pulled it up out of my garden, get rid of it. I love having plants that can be eaten that make people feel good and healthy, not things that end them up, uh, you know, have them end up in the hospital. So, so long to the Jimson weed, from my garden anyway. <laughs>